Hi there, I'm Paul Kimbrough. And I'm Jake Saxon. Heli gear may cost a pretty penny, but it's still cheaper than therapy. Oh. The terrain at Micah is so diverse, there's really something here for every skier. You're always on an adventure, you know? Just find what they're looking for, they find that dream line, and they achieve these goals that they didn't really think that they were capable of achieving. Who doesn't want to be our friends? We're pretty much the best skiers on the mountain. made films. I mean, I started when I was seven, I think, or Super 8 films with my dad's camera. Uh, so I can't really imagine not making films in a way. With filming and directing and, you know, Stanley Kubrick and Steven Spielberg and George Lucas, and I was always fascinated with the process of filmmaking. And B, they can uh, assist one another and build off one another. Um, those are always the, the ones that you remember. You know? Responsibility to, to uh, direct because more than anything you take the audience's time. No, things are going to work out in any endeavor in life, but certainly not in a movie. And you can make a movie exactly the way you imagined it without compromise and have it go out and fail. There are interesting projects, you know, that get you excited about, um, not just about the process of filmmaking. I don't tend to make movies about movie making. So when a movie works, it's usually luck. I have a lot of different emotions. I want an audience to feel. Interesting and new and fresh because you're always terrified that you're going to slip into the the, the, the cliches and, and the obvious. Fantasy is what we're doing now, right here in this room, with these lights and cameras and mirrors. Something else is existing there, I don't know what, but there's something happening that's not part of our normal day, uh, uh, literal nature of how we live, but we're trying to create something different.
the sort of top line stuff on this is internal 4K recording in XABCS. And to reflect on 2014. What an amazing year. This is the Sony A6000 digital camera. It has everything you want in a DSLR in a small camera. The adjustable diopter means I could shoot without wearing my glasses. The viewfinder's 1.4 megapixel resolution, while less than higher end Sony cameras, is precise enough to focus accurately using Sony Alpha A6000. I love the camera. I personally have the Nex 5R, and I love that one, and it's been hard to replace it. I tested a Canon 70D, and it was really good. You know. So now let me show you some actual footage of the A6000. Yeah, I don't know about you, but I think it looks amazing. It's super clear, the automatic focusing is fast on 95% on everything I wanted to do. It comes to DSLR video, for the most part, you're going to be living and dying in manual focus. On my lens right now, I utilize this with my Red Rock Follow Focus System. Head right here, or you can just, for example, put it right here. And then you can, you know, just move it forwards, backwards very easily. Today we're going to talk about doing some very cool cinematography moves, some very cool camera moves uh, with the slider. Now, I re now you can see how our move is going to work. We're going to start back here, we're going to push in, and then we're going to do a Dutch angle like that. As simple as that. Now, it is a very simple move, but there is one key factor that you have to keep in mind, and that is focus. If that's my focus point, back. You'll want to have a basic idea of which direction you'd like to shoot. Let's take a three-person dialogue scene as an example. Here's an overhead shot of the setup. But once actor one turns to actor three to speak, our action line will shift. After researching for a while, I found the Canon 24 to 105 mm. When you take a photograph with a with a camera, it, it's just the process ends when you press the trigger. So to me, it felt like photography was more about being at the right place at the right time. This video will give you maximum value for money. We're going to give you 15 quick photography tips in less than 15 minutes. Play the bloody music. This week's episode of DSLR Video Skills. I'm going to show you how to go ahead and build a time lapse sequence. It's not taking too long. If I want to see detailed progress, I can just click share monitor and see exactly what's happening. And I'll have the file to show you in just a second. Okay, that takes just a couple minutes, but it's all done. Let's take a look at the finished shot. Now I have a little bit of flicker from some of the lighting conditions changing. You can see the color is all stable down here. I can go ahead and post-process that or average that out a little bit, but it's still pretty cool. So, there you have it, a all Final Cut 10 workflow to get those time-lapse images assembled. 